Our kids. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we're going to be talking about this braided wig. Yes, I said braided wig from We Queen. This is actually my second collaboration with We Queen and both times were a uh, braided wig. What I have here is the 32 inch, it's a 13 by 4 lace frontal braided wig. It is a knotless braided wig. I know it weighs a ton, but baby you'll be just as dark as it was the last time for me when I worked with them I found that the lace was too dark to do is apply some of the airbrush legs to it because it's too dark Is that how you're supposed to use that one? Well, I do not know. So this comes with a lot of jewels. Now, I don't know how to put in any of those. <laughs> Say I'm doing this wig, right? I don't search up a review specifically for this company. I'll just do my own review, right? Because I don't want to be like biased towards the company because of something that I read or heard. Why does it look like that? I probably just don't know how to put these in because I've never seen anyone put these in before. I mean, it's kind of like... No, I'm not liking that one there. What do you do with these ones? like an earring for your hair you guys no <laughs> oh my god okay you guys I'm not even gonna play around with those anymore I like this one how did I get it like that I want to try it again okay see 
that's why you shouldn't give up on things when things don't go your way right away don't give up just try again I'm not a huge fan of these like accessories in my hair I don't know I just feel like I'm too grown for this when you guys are watching this I would have turned 32 years old so my 32nd birthday probably already passed by the time you guys are watching this leave me a happy birthday or birthday emoji in the comment section you guys but I feel like I'm just too grown for these little pieces. I'm not knocking anyone who chooses to wear them. But yeah, for me personally, I wouldn't really do more than like a couple in the back as well. Like if I were to ever wear these. But I kind of just prefer it without. The knots and the braids are just basically like around this area and a few along the sides here. Kind of like a traditional frontal that you would get like a 13 by 4 frontal. Where the lace isn't, it has just like these loose braided pieces which is not bad because you can't really tell like the wig you can't tell that it's a wig necessarily it just looks like you have your hair and you like in box braids and they've grown out so just think of like what a grown out box braid would look like that's what that looks like on the sides you can definitely finesse the wig where kind of put some hairs in between from the top and it will kind of hide it like on this side compared to this side that's just something that you can do if you want to hide that that i did want to talk about that maybe you know i didn't necessarily love right off the bat is the lace color the lace color is that dark chocolate brown color it says medium brown but i think that's darker than medium brown it doesn't really show up on camera as well but it looks in real life too dark to counteract that darkness this time i used this uh airbrush legs it helped a bit and it also helped with the knots because this wig is not made of like human hair uh frontal hairs so it's just like all synthetic that helped with hiding those knots as well as i used some foundation i just used like this angle brush and went in between the parts and here because this is the dead giveaway the hairline right here i noticed it was just giving too dark it was it was like a dark shadow i did do a lot of baby hairs and it's not necessarily like my preference but i did it because I felt like it needed the baby hairs to hide that lace that's too dark for my skin tone. I don't know if they make the lace in a different color, but both times now I'm getting the really dark lace. And yeah, I'm not a fan of that. I think that needs to be improved for next time. But the wig itself is beautiful. It's not heavy at all. It's pretty light considering how much hair is on this wig. There's a lot of braids, like very, very full. Like you don't, when you look at this wig, you're not thinking, oh, it could use like a little bit more hair. Like, no, it's pretty full. Like, I wouldn't want any more hair on this wig. So they did a good job with putting just the right amount. And I think it looks so cute up like this. I do recommend the wig because it is pretty affordable, but it would look best on darker skin tones. Someone that is even darker than me because the lace is just not it for me personally. But I do like the wig quite a bit. And I think, yeah, it's really cute. And I love the length. If you'd like to pick up this wig, I'm going to leave all the information to Wee Queen in the description box for you guys. And if there's a discount code, I'm going to leave that there. Comment your thoughts below in the comment section about this wig. Let me know if you agree with me that the lace color was too dark in the beginning. Let me know your thoughts and let me know what you guys think of this style. I think it's so cute. And somebody help me figure out how to use these because a lot of those ones, I don't even know how to use this. Like, at all, at all. I'm not even playing. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in another video real soon. Bye for now.